No game is perfect, is it, Ellen? No. No game is perfect. No. Except for F Zero X. <laughs> no, no game is perfect, uh, and certainly not Tears of the Kingdom. A great game. Maybe, Fantastic. Maybe the best game of the year. One of some of the most fun I've ever had playing a video game ever. Yeah. Yeah. But is it perfect? No. And now that the dust has settled and we've all played it for a staggering amount of time. So much time. There are some things that I, that I don't like. Here are our little quibbles. Yeah. Things that we hate. That's for, I want, we want I mean, them to be, we're, we're complaining because we want it to be better because we love it so much. Do you share them too? Let's find out mm -hmm. together. As you go through the game, uh, you unlock the ghosts of different champions to fight alongside you. Yes. Uh, and you can call on their abilities at any time to sort of boost your boost what, what you can do in combat. Mm -hmm. Or at least that's the theory. Yeah. Um, because I think the way that this system is implemented is one of my least favourite things about Tears of the Kingdom. I um, and, and the proof is the fact that I just... I just don't, don't use, use them. It. Apart from Tulin's wind thing when I'm sort yeah, of traversing then, around. Yeah. And you just need to press A when you're flying. You don't yeah. have to sort of turn around. Be like, be like Tulin, can I have some help? Yeah. So, where's Sidon? Oh, the... he's not here. It's always the <laughs> one you want is not Sidon. there. He's just not here. <laughs> How am I supposed to make him appear? Yeah. You just, okay. Like, I love the Tulin one. It's great. Tulin, I think, is my favourite hero of like yeah. the new set even mm -hmm. though Sidon is the same one twice bless him because we love him so much so I uh, I have a, a clip um, saved on my computer that is just called Chulin FFS <laughs> <laughs> you know what I don't need to here it is Tulin. Tulin. I was trying to. Sake. I was trying. To, I was trying to pick up the thing. Yeah, I and saw. It, yeah. You press A, to like B, whatever. I can't remember which way around Nintendo does it. But you press the button to pick up all the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quickly, and Tulin just walked up to me and was like, "Oh, you want me to whoosh off the no. side of the island?" And I was like, "No." The thing that's frustrating. <laughs> yeah. The thing that's frustrating about it, it means that you just don't use the powers. No. You can't get to them quickly, which yeah. being as like most of them are combat focused yeah. is a little counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. um, they all tend to sort of stand on top of each other in a slightly screen cluttering way. Yeah. And there are four powers and there are four face buttons on the controller. But they're all on one button. But they're all on one button. And, like, and it's, it's who you're standing the closest to. I don't want to, you don't want to try and like, it's okay to sort of say things that you don't like about a game, but mm -hmm. but I, I never like to try and like correct it because I don't because yeah. I'm not a game developer, so yeah. I don't want to be like it should have worked it this way. This. But like, it feels <sighs> like it's one of those situations where like with a strategy game like uh, Dragon Age or something does mm. this, where like you you hold down a a, a shoulder button or something, and, and then the, you yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you and, kind and, of do a and double. It, yeah, it toggles the. It toggles what the face buttons do. And I just wonder if there wasn't a smoother way to implement all this. I, I, I don't mm -hmm. know. But I do think it's a bit of a shame because you do end up not using, uh, at least I end up not using them very much. I, I don't like, use them that surely much. Surely no one is. When, when there's a wall I want to explode, I'm like, well, I'm not going to waste a bomb arrow on this because yeah. I can send um, yeah, 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 what's yeah, his yeah. chops. Yeah. I've forgotten his name. <laughs> I can't think of a better way, but it, it doesn't quite work the way, yeah, that, it's, the it's, way that it's implemented. That's like, it. That's it. I think like they're very good. If you have them out with you, they're quite good at helping. Like Chulin, just headshots and like I'm walking around and I yeah, hear yeah, yeah. F -dum, f -dum, and Chulin's just like killed something that I didn't see and was on the way. No so, criticism yeah. of their like passive AI that's, ownings. That's really things. useful. That's, that's but in terms of fun. like just those actual like, hey, I mm. need this person to do this. Because I Shield me it... with water, Sidon. Yeah. Where... Oh, you're not here. No. Where are you? Hang on, I'll jog over to you. Oh no, I pressed on the other one by mistake and yeah. everything got electrocuted. Yeah. I found it difficult enough to get them to do what I wanted when it was one on one. So I've never had more than one champion now. Oh really? I've got with them, me. Yeah. I've got them all um, out, little Yeah, wandering little, around. Like little ducklings. I just I just take Tulin with me because Tulin's my favorite. Yeah. Like and uh, like it's take it's it really sucks to have to complain about Tulin. 
because when he joins you and there's that little scene and he's like, I'm going to do everything in my power to be, you know, a great champion and help you and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, he's so, such a good boy. He's so sweet. And then he blew <laughs> your stuff. I forever. And then he blew was like, away. I was like, for f sake, oh, you. <laughs> it was, you know, his like mystic force, uh, ghosty version of him. So it wasn't actually Tulin. Tulin's it was him. chilling out in uh, Rito Village. It's the purest Village, representation of his soul. It's what he would definitely like, do. Oh, it's your stuff. Cats on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not totally happy with the way that the game handles builds. I'm not talking like mechanically with the controls or how, how you do the building. I think that all works really well. Mm -hmm. I'm talking just about how the programming of the game reacts to things that you've built. Particularly, mm -hmm. I know this is something that, that, that annoys you, when you save your game, it doesn't save builds. So if you load up an older save with like something yeah. that you've built, it just won't be there anymore. Very Which frustrating. I discovered in a live stream because I was like, oh, I'll save now. We'll try it and then we'll load this save and we'll try it again because we were trying to build an aircraft. Of course, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we loaded the save and we were like, where is it? Where is it? Mm. Oh no, it doesn't save the build. That's and frustrating. Part of that is like it's a memory hardware thing and like, you know, maybe if we had the updated switch that's sort of been in the works, been but been slowed down by everything. Yep. Maybe that would have been yeah. an actual save thing. But I, I, That's <sighs> probably the, the the other half of this gripe is like things that you've built despawning if you, if you move, walk too far, go away, too far from away from it. them. And obviously yeah. what you want to be able to do is like have something that you're building and go get pieces for it and bring and it back, back. Or, or to like build something and send it off to a far away enemy camp or something to, to wreak yeah. havoc. And you just can never quite trust that that the game is going to keep, keep that it object in its memory <laughs> and not just be like, it's gone. it's gone. I had a thing where I was uh, getting, for a video, for one of our videos, I was building a wicker man to put a Korok in. Uh, <laughs> we never made that video. Uh, but yeah, I was building it. And then I went over to get some more wood and I started chopping down a tree and then like a tree, two trees over or what, I got, anyway, I think it was one of the trees, if, I'm, if my memory is correct, one of the trees was like an enemy tree that can come to life oh, and attack you. hate them. And in fighting this, I like got far away enough that I came back and my build was just like, a, like just not ah. my, my hard, my hard built um, wicker man. <laughs> but the Korok was still there. Breath of the Wild had a horse problem, and I don't just mean because they were everywhere, like a <laughs> vermin species that Link couldn't eradicate. It wasn't practically that useful to have a horse because you no. couldn't always summon it to you. Your mm -hmm. horse would sort of get like far away, and mm -hmm. it just it, it just became a system in the game that you didn't engage with. All you have to do really is you go to a stable and you're like, "Could you bring me my horse here, please?" But it's just it's like a it is Go a to the stable, it is board a the horse, I've, take I've the spent horse. so much time talking to the stable owners, being like, "Can I have my horse, please?" What you want to do is get the uh, champions DLC horse armor. Exactly. Champions, anyway, it doesn't matter. The exactly. horse armor Champ from the champions DLC. Champions ballad DLC. Yeah, lets yeah, you yeah, lets you yeah. summon your horse to wherever. And then you wherever. can fast travel to it. I believe, mm. or does it for just no, fast travel just to you? just just oh, walks okay. it to you. I've yeah. not played the DLC, I've only watched you play it on the stream. That's the best way to experience it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me have fun. But Tears of the Kingdom does not solve the horse problem. Mm -hmm. I ha I did not use horses. I just didn't use horses. Mm -hmm. Part of that is that auto building a vehicle yeah. is more fun, yeah. certainly faster. Yeah. You know that like jet bike that every yeah. that's become it's ubiquitous. Been, it's so great. And it's once, pretty fun. Once you've got like five batteries, you're mm. like sorted for a really long distance, and yeah. you, that's it. You don't yeah. need a horse again. Because for ages I was like, why is everyone doing this? Because I just like, but like as soon as I got some batteries, I was like. New in Tears of the Kingdom is you can attach a harness to your horse. Yeah. So th in theory, you can combine your horse with your builds and like you can tow think you can make a wagon you know yeah, you can, it's yeah, like it's yeah. just basically like a gluing point yeah. on a horse yeah for um, Korok, so you can drag them around <laughs> it's really good if you put some swords on either end great lawnmower and then oh, you get right. a free rice that was in one of my oh my uh, gosh like that videos, chariot so. and gladiator yeah yeah it's great but yeah i just i i didn't really use it horses remain a sort of 
novelty, mm. which is a shame because I love the customization options. I would love for like my horse to be like a real sort of companion, yeah, like in the game. But my hover bike is my only friend, <laughs> and I build a new one every five minutes. Yeah, because I just jump off my existing one, watch it spin into the despawn. <laughs> And when I land, I build another one. Yeah. Um, and also, before we move on from this one, another animal issue is uh, you can't pet the dog still. Can't pet the dog. Nintendo, you've had two games you, to get you this can, right. You can give the dog a bunch of food and, like, I don't want to feed sit a dog. next to the dog. And I you don't can want watch to it feed do dogs. cute things. And I really like it when the dogs chase their tails. It's really cute. Yeah, I like but, when they roll over. <sighs> yeah. I don't, the dogs wind me up. There's this one sub-quest where, where it's like, there's there's like 60 chests in a cave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's and you're, you're, in uh, one of our videos, yeah. Yeah, and you're supposed to um, charm Misco's a dog. goes treasures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to charm a dog to go in... Um, find like, the correct. Find the right one. Yeah. And I threw all my... So, it takes so much food. And like, I, I really like it because it's like a little dog. fun thing. Um, but it, I think it, it took too much. Like, I liked the, the idea of the mechanic, Greedy. but... Apparently you can like give food to any dog at any stable and it will lead you to some sort of treasure. Yeah, yeah. But I, I am also like, I have so much crap in my inventory. I don't yeah. know, like, unless it's like super, you know, because in that one you got like some cool boots or whatever that were actually kind of useful, but. I, I yeah. gave this dog so much gourmet meat. Mm -hmm. It could not possibly have been hungry so, yeah. at the end. And it just stood there like, I'm like, come on, mate. It was my so in the end, I just went inside and opened, opened them all manually all of them. while maintaining eye contact with the dog outside. <laughs> one rupee, one rupee, one rupee. Treasure. Thanks for nothing, dog. Ascend out the top. <laughs> I love that quest because the two guys outside are like the laziest people because they're like, oh, I can't. Yeah. And then you go in there, it's like, it's not, it, you're getting money. <laughs> Damn, that stupid game is so charming. Yeah, it really is. I love Tears of the Kingdom. It's so good. Here's another thing I hate about it. <laughs> One of the cool things about the fuse mechanic mm. is that I have used it all the way through the game. Yeah. Like, it, it's always useful. I find it's always pleasing to, like, have my Master Sword, but with a sort of twisted bit of monster attached. But the way, like, you, it's such a faff to do in the middle of a fight, having to drop an item actually Drop an on the floor. item, point at it, and mm. blah, blah, blah. Like, because I do like the little animation where he's like, Ching! and holds it up and yeah. it's really cute but not being able to do it from the inventory is... yeah you should be able to do it in the inventory have the animation and you... happen in in the menu screen or Ching. or i don't like you kind of do it and then when you come out of that menu like you do that fuse it closes that menu and link goes Dum, done so you yeah. still get the cute yeah. little thing if you, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. whatever it is and then you know when you've got like a bunch of like huge monsters bearing down on you and you're like, you've got to drop this thing and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do it. And, and there's situations in the game where you really do have to do it. Like mm -hmm. in the Colosseum battles where it's like a long, mm. like a series of fights, you're going to go through all your weapons because yeah. all, we all your weapons will break. Yeah. And that's, you know, by the game's design. Mm -hmm. And so you are going to be in a situation where you've got like a Lionel bearing down on you and you're like, okay, all right, all right. drop monster part. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, duh. like pick up whatever stick is nearby. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, spinning the camera around. Oh, man. And it's not a huge complaint, but it's like it's enough of a. Mm -hmm. it's, a it's a little. I find well, I find as well because fuse is like on that little dial, and then yeah. you press, you choose it, and you're there. sometimes if you're panicking, yeah, I end up accidentally choosing the wrong one, and because yeah, the yeah, one yeah. opposite is ascend, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll look at, and then and suddenly, like, I'm back in the fight, and Link's going, what's up there? Ascend like, is the no, worst no, no, one no, to accidentally, accidentally have on, because when you like, tap it, like, the on. camera's no. like, <laughs> <laughs> The building mechanics are mm -hmm. so good and yes. so fun, and yes. in the early game, you're just, like, putting together this cart that doesn't really go anywhere or do anything very fast, but it's just so much fun to have built a little cart. Yeah. Even if you don't have like the steering wheel yet. Yeah, and You're just no. like rolling it down a hill slower than you could walk. Yeah. But it feels or, so good. Yeah. And then in the mid game, you get a few batteries and you start to like unlock all these Zonai parts and like, it becomes really, really exciting, a really, really interesting part of problem solving, especially like traversal. Late game though, I find myself just not building 
very often. Mm -hmm. And I think that's because... Apart you, from your hover bike. <laughs> <laughs> well, I build the hover bike, but like nothing else. Yeah. You know? Your weapons are so strong. Mm -hmm. Armor gets pretty good pretty fast yeah. once you like upgrade it a little bit. Yeah. And with your stamina wheel upgraded, like it's pretty rare to find a hill that you can't just like hop up or mm -hmm. at least like hop up a little bit and ascend and, and stuff like that. If you come to an enemy encampment and stuff and you're like, okay, Tears of the Kingdom is a, a glorious sandbox. Uh, there's so many things I could do. I could build a little Roomba for, like covered in lasers and cannons yeah. and stuff. And I have done that and it's super satisfying, but like the always, I find like the quickest way it's just to run in and kill things with your, <laughs> yeah. with your sword, like because nothing, no, nothing you build is going to be as strong or mm. as deadly as just Link going in with the master yeah. sword and some decent armor yeah. and just like laying waste to everything. Yeah. And the damage output of like cannons and lasers and other things you attach like doesn't scale up as well. It's it's a real minor quibble because like it's not N N Nintendo doesn't have to provide me with a game that is like fun forever. No. Be nice if it did, though. <laughs> um, but, but like, it there needs is, to be fun yeah. till the end. There is a. It definite, needs to be fun yeah. till one hundred percent completion. There needs yeah. to be something, yeah. you know, satisfactory in everything. I enjoy a shrine do. that like makes you build something, like yeah, makes you construct yeah, 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 something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's pretty fun. It's sounding a bit complicated, but like, obviously, your your weapons scale up because you find more and more powerful weapons just by default as the longer yep. you play. And you're fighting more powerful monsters. You're fighting more powerful monsters, and so you're getting more. They will always yeah. drop. They will, that's my favourite thing is they will like they will always drop. Always drop their bits and bobs. Parts, so. um, but but like you can't you can't pop one of those monster parts on a on a flame emitter to sort of similarly mm. kind of boost it. So yeah, I don't know. That's I, I love the building and it's so funny. And I just wish yeah. that late game it was it still felt like it was the best way to approach a situation and it usually doesn't that is all now one of my favorite things in this game yeah is when link gets a bunch of things mm. puts them in the pot and he goes <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> But... But you don't hear that because you're skipping it because you're like, skip, well, skip, 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 skip. I, skip, 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 I faster, always blah, blah, blah. listen to it because I just think Link is endearing, but I still am always kind of like, oh, I, that's five seconds of my life. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I've, got to, I've got to really enjoy little Link's little humming to do this. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's mm. the amount of time that I've allotted to play some gaming stuff tonight. Yeah. That's seeding into that. Oh, well. There's something not quite right in Tears of the Kingdom with the way that it handles meals. Uh, it, it was less important to have like status effect. Yeah. Um, thing. I think that's, um, I think that's partially because you get a lot of cool armor Very faster. quickly, yeah. You, yeah. I got stuff way quicker. You get some stealth armor, that meant, you get I some felt, climbing armor, swimming yeah, armor. I felt like yeah. I had to make fewer um, potions and meals to like keep me warm or keep me cool or whatever. Yeah. In some ways it's really good because I felt like I was losing less time to uh, cooking because the, the other thing with cooking is you do one meal or potion at a time. Yeah it's a bit of a And grind. it's a little bit... Oof, it's, yeah. it's tough because like you don't you don't want Tears of the Kingdom to be like a soulless menu experience where you're no. just like hold X to sort of mass produce soup mm -hmm. or something. But at the same time, like the, the problem with having all of these status effect meals that I what didn't need and wasn't eating was that when I did need to heal, yeah. often, because of how often I get hit hard with weapons in the game, <laughs> I'd find myself very often just being like, go over to the go over to the food, sort by effect, yeah. scroll all the way down to the bottom, because for some reason the ones that just restore hearts are, are like, all at the bottom. It's like, oh, yeah. this one just restores hearts. It's ju if it's just important. restore hearts, it's that one. Yeah. If you have the one with you get a full health and some bonus oh, hearts, yeah, then it's right at the then top. Then it's at the top. Which is weird. But but it's like restoring hearts is the thing that I am doing most, most often. often. It's the thing that I need to do a lot more than mm -hmm. I need like attack up when it's hot. But or also something. sometimes I will want one of those status effects and then I get hit and I'm like, I can't eat anything. 
there isn't the same status effect, otherwise it yeah, overrides that overridden. status. Yeah. And then I'm sitting there and I can't eat any of my food because yeah. I'm in a cold area. I've had all my cold stuff and the only things I have are like attack up and things like that. And I'm like, well, if I get that, then I'm gonna, if I eat that, my health's gonna go up, but then I'm gonna start getting injured by the cold. And mm. I was just thankful. I wish you more often found ingredients that were just pure straight down the line, cook this and it'll restore heart. Yeah. Oh, oh, is maybe I would rather if they just did away with status meals altogether. And from if you cook monster parts, you can have a tonic for a status effect. Yeah. And if you cook any food, it's health restoring. Yeah. I found I was using more food items and like status effect plants especially to shoot at like I was getting all like the fire fruit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That was my go-to to deal with like ice lizalfos and things like that. Oh yeah. Because it yeah, was yeah, I had yeah. so many of them because you find a, a bush and you get three of them and yeah. there's so many of them around. But mm. yeah, it's uh, you know I have an abundance of plant items within my <laughs> inventory and I'm just yeah. like fruit. <laughs> Fruit. fruit, you have some fruit. fruit. It's like I'm like yeah. in a very aggressive healthy eating campaign. <laughs> some ice berries, come Shoots on. Shoots this hydromelon into your face. <laughs> yeah. It's one of your five a day. <laughs> this last one is a more, uh, like, amorphous, hard to define gripe of mine. But, but I think yeah. it does apply to a lot of the things that we've already talked about as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so sometimes when playing Tears of the Kingdom, I think this feels a little farmy. Farmy, I mean, in not, the... Not in the Animal Crossing sense yeah. or anything like, well, um, Stardew Valley Stardew sense. Valley sense, yeah. No, I mean, um, I mean, in the video game sense of like, this is a little bit of a grind for its own sake. Mm -hmm. This is especially true of getting zonite and uh, getting which is very important upgrading resource. your batteries and stuff so if you yeah. want to mm. if you want to have that lovely little flying motorbike to yeah. go around on you have to do a lot of hitting of rocks yeah in you the have depths. to farm a lot of zonite and i don't mind uh farming mm. in a game lord knows i've played enough world of warcraft mm -hmm. there's just like a, a thing in my mind that's like ah, oh, i don't know if this feels like very Zelda. Zel yeah, Zelda. Because everything know. everything else is so tight and so, you know, the story is brilliant Enchan again yeah. and everything, it's lovely. Yeah. Enchanting. enchanting. Yeah. yeah. It's and I not don't very think... enchanting to yeah. like walk through the depths grinding out Zonite. Yeah. Because you want to be able to like make... use something that for more than ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Or or just like I want to be able to auto build things quickly. Yeah. Which yeah. takes, you know, which uses takes zonite. Even if you've got those things in your in inventory, I'm like, I'll just spend nine zonite rather than being like, drop the fan, drop the fan, oh, drop I'm, the steering column. I'm that person. And I'll do the blah, 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 blah. Like that, it's just... One good thing is you can, you select, you can select multiple things and drop them all at once. If you uh, defeat a boss in the depths or if you do one of the little like Yiga clan hideout challenges, you get as a reward like crystallized charges, charges which yeah. are what you... You trade what the zonite for, yeah. which is what you upgrade your battery with. Yeah, so it's, it's like, like a two-step process as well, which is like oh. that seems yeah, that's annoying. Nice. So you you get a glimpse of like here's the game giving you the resource you need mm -hmm. for doing a fun little quest, yeah, or like for doing a little adventure. Like that, it it just contrasts quite poorly with ways you upgrade your hearts or your stamina which are by doing like shrine puzzles which mm -hmm. are also incredibly inventive and unique mm -hmm. and like just really brilliant little capsule puzzles that mm -hmm. are j just really fun i never yeah. I, I love going into a shrine i, I yeah. know i'm gonna have fun yeah um little I've side quests that, saved like, a yeah. whole bunch of shrines and i'm just like yeah no, 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 no. getting like the armor pieces and stuff like yeah. you know you know that's going to be fun yeah i know it's, it's an odd one that which is why we've like put it last in the list because yeah. it's like it's, it's my least sort of concrete gripe yeah but just something there's something that feels like well, a slightly un ish about... Well, the thing is, like, in, in one of the videos... The grind. Um, I mean, like, giving some, like, tips for saving and making money in the game... Yeah. ...is that um, on all of the forges where you swap your Zonite for crystallised charges before you then go and get your battery upgraded... Yeah. Um, 
on the top of each of the big chimneys, if you like, there's like kind of like a puzzly way that you can get up there quite easily. And then on top, there is usually three free crystalline charges there. Yes, yeah, which is and, cool. And they're fun and to I, get. I felt like, ooh, every time. Mm. And like when I first discovered that, I was like, I just thought, oh, I want to climb that, see what's at the top, see what I can see. I was mainly being like, oh, mm. that's a good vantage point. And then I got there and I was like, oh, free stuff. And, and you, then that meant I checked every single one. Yeah. Yeah, when the, when the game first came out, Luke had a little route around oh, the... Yeah, yeah. The underworld in the depths, uh, so that we could like have things run route. Uh, yeah. unlocked enough to be able to make certain videos, mm. and it was just like having fun. I was like, I'm doing all the Yuga Clan stuff because I need to get this outfit no. <laughs> for a different video. <laughs> I'll remain in the dark, just thanks. <laughs> just what? Yeah, just killing all the moblins at a camp, mining all the zonite, mm -hmm. moving on to the next one. Yeah, yeah. ruthless, relentless. Yeah. So those were the things that we don't like about Tears of the Kingdom. It feels, it feels sac sacri... Well, the thing is... Sacrilegious even to, to, to mouth the words. Yeah. But like, uh, yeah, just to reiterate, I love Tears of the Kingdom, it's so yeah. fun. I'm still these playing are, these it. These are gripes yeah. rather than reasons that we dislike the game. Yeah, so, they're things we hate yeah, in Tears in of the, the Kingdom. In the game, but not, overall we love the game. Not things that make us hate Tears of the Kingdom. No. Oh, what can I say? It's, it's, um, it's amazing. It's a the game... Yeah. Oh, the reason that I just... loved Tears of the Kingdom in the early and mid game and when we yeah. first started playing it is because it was gloriously messy and we made yeah. videos talking about that and how it was like so fun and freeing that Nintendo, of all developers and publishers, uh, has, you know, just been like... You know, like, yeah. make his like a, a messy game. A messy open world, and go make a mess in it. encourages you, like they were like, we kind of want to make you feel like you're cheating a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. The, the ascend yeah. ability yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is just ga an absolute game changer. When Instead you realise that like... Up, you just go in a ca cave, whoop, I'm on top of a mountain. Great. When you realise you, you can um, do that, that thing where you just like... So good. ...move an object, move it yeah. back, and then rewind it And then you go on it, and then yeah. you rewind, yeah. And like 50% of shrine puzzles, you don't have to do what they want you... Because you can just go... ...what they want you to do. Yeah, yeah. Stand like, on, yeah. rewind. Here I have you. three electrical machines, and two <laughs> wind paddles, and only one spring, and how will you... Oh, I move the spring like that, and I and stand, stand on the on spring. It. Don't even activate it, it just carries me out. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Love my orb, thanks. <laughs> yeah. We're kind of reaping the whirlwind a little bit mm. in the late game. It's like, because, oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get this messy, chaotic game that is so fun and so exciting and so vibrant, but then when everything is kind of settled down in late, you're like, that's when that's oh, when I've the fact it. that the game is basically unbalanced, gleefully unbalanced. Yeah. And then when you've been playing it for a long, long time and you're just kind of doing like quite repetitive things at the end, you're like, oh, because it's so gleefully unbalanced, it's no longer necessary as exciting to, as to build it, yeah. anything. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I can't complain too much because I, I feel I like it's... i my horse for three hours. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's the other side of the coin of what made Tears of the Kingdom so fun Yeah. Uh, to start with. But, but anyway, yeah. there you go. There yeah, you go. Do, do you agree? Let us know. Well, the little, you disagree? Little, little things that annoy you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah let, let us yeah. know in the comments. Because we tell might us. be like, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's been cathartic. Yeah. Been cathartic, yeah. Been I've loved my Tears of the Kingdom time, but yeah, it's nice yeah. to give voice to the frustrations. Yeah. I, I did the same with Horizon Forbidden West. Loved it. Yeah. And then made a 20 minute video saying about, like, this uh, is how I want to change it. And another thing. <laughs> and this. <laughs> Thanks for watching.